Okay, so happy Monday. This of course is Field of Glory Kingdoms, We're currently playing where we started as Ireland. You can see on the left hand side we've got uh, all of Ireland, good chunk of Scotland. We'll just talk about what's happening there in a second. And a good chunk of England now too. Why and we've taken all these these regions, Scotland included, without firing a shot. How do we do that? Well, England's greedy and they don't realize they're getting, you know, bought out. <laughs> we basically bought we buy all these properties as soon as we get enough money, which we have enough. We could probably, you know, convince them to sell a few more properties to us. The only ones we can't buy are the ones that belong to his vassals, which are, as far as I know, that one and that one there. I think those are the last of the two. I think that all the rest belong to England, so we should be able to buy them up. Yeah, these all belong to England. So, yep. So, if they're not, if I did, I don't know how how much more he's going to let us buy, but that's what it is. He's not going to let us buy the, where London is simply because uh, that's his capital. So he's not going to give that one up. But everything else looks like he will. But mainly because I think he's been picking up these other territories over here and there. So there's that. Okay, just a reminder that we are currently a lot allied with uh, England and Norway, France, and the Isle of Man. And I think that's it as far as allies go. And over here in Northern Europe, uh, we're be beating up on Sweden. Uh, Sweden actually doesn't technically exist anymore. They've been downgraded to Svealand. S-V-E-A-L-A-N-D. Um, we control most of their stuff. I think we're trying to convince them to become our vassal. Actually, I think they are our vassal. Are they? I don't think they're vassal yet. Made about a finer shot because handheld firearms are not yet available in Europe. Soon. Very soon. So anyway, Sweden up here. This was a vassal of Sweden, but we conquered them. We're at war with Sweden. Uh... Norway and England were as well. They bailed out for a couple of turns, but now they're back in. Um, this is a vassal of Sweden. Um, what is this? this is Ostergotland. And yeah, so this whole, they're a vassal of Sweden. So when they join, I think we actually have, I think we, we, we have, I think two trade deals pending. We have one with Norway. And we have one, I think Sweden, it's to make them our vassal. I think we're waiting for the, here to get the response to that. It was a 100% chance it was going to happen. So they're going to become our vassal. We just have to wait for them to approve of it. And now Norway, we have an agreement or a trade thing with. And this is giving you stock. Maybe you're back. She was just telling me that she needs to go, but Rocket's awake. He's laying in the middle of the living room, just following her around, basically. He's watching, you know, keeping uh, an eye on the motion that's moving around the room. She goes, he won't go to sleep. And I go, of course he's not going to go to sleep. He knows what you're doing. He knows your routine before you go out somewhere. <laughs> he knows what you're doing. So, anyway, as I was saying, Norway. So, we had a vassal over here in Scotland. They decided they didn't want to be our vassal anymore. So... We said fine, and we put a claim down on their capital, or we got a claim on their capital and gave us justification for waging war on them. So we conquered the vassal. The only problem was Norway came over because he's there, our ally. Without inviting him over, he came over and helped. And as a result, he ended up with these two provinces or regions. By the time we beat up on the vassal, so what does that mean? It means these territories technically really belong to Norway. So what we did is, again, we're still waiting on the, the approval, which I believe was 100%. And basically what we're doing is we're going to trade these two two regions for two regions over here that I currently control. And so Norway would have probably, I think it was Elfin and one of these over here. I forget which one it was. Anyway, so we're trading those two regions for those two because, you know, we want to, you know, contiguous stuff. And these actually are another Norway vassal. We control these three. A um, little bit trickier to get these because we really have to get this guy to like us, which is tricky because he's a vassal in Norway. 
and he uh, doesn't have a whole lot of territory, so he's really um, uh, resistant to sell stuff. So, But anyway, for today, our goal is to buy as many of these as we can. We're not going to get this bigger section because that's his capital for the, va for the vassal, but these two we might be able to buy from him with enough inspiration from, you know, cash and other stuff. And of course, we're going to keep buying stuff up here in England. Um, and then, of course, then we have to deal with Sweden. We're going to make them a vassal. And then we're going to have like three territories over here left over, I think. And I don't know what we're going to do with these because the whole reason of making Sweden a vassal is because we want them to manage this area of the world for us because it's too far away from our capital. There's huge penalties for managing this far away, at least this reason. The loyalty and revolt risk and local authority. So local authority, there is a minus 140 penalty because of the distance from the capital. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Uh, and then lo it, that actually affects um, loyalty a little bit, does it? Base regional loyalty is 42 from population. That's, that's because I'm Irish. Uh, so anyway, it's just this local authority thing is really a killer. So is there a way to change your capital? No, not that I found it. If there's a way to do it, I have not seen it. I was hoping there was a dis regional decision to do this, but there isn't, or I haven't seen one. And what are you going to do? Because I, like, I would like to move it over here to, you know, England somewhere. So that we'd be a little bit closer. Because England is managing, you know, the Denmark area. And you can actually see what their penalties are too. Because here it says national authority base is 70. Or sorry, distance is minus 40. But I think this also has something to do with his government type too. And that's really screwing us the hardest part. Because I'm surprised we've lasted this long. Because <laughs> the mistakes I've made are just ridiculous. We have made no progression in making our government better. That's what, this is where we started, the stable two app. And as you go up, you know, you get to be able to expand better or be better at expanding, right? So we're nowhere close to that. We need five tokens to move from level to level, basically, as far as I understand. It might be higher as you go up. It's hard to tell. But anyway, we are still at Yeah, the stable two app. So this is we need five tokens, and the tokens are basically based off of leadership, or sorry, authority and st stuff. Anyway, we screwed up early on, and that's why we've never really progressed because we didn't build the right things and do the right things. We expanded too quickly. When you expand too quickly, it screws with your authority and yeah, whatever. Which I, doesn't make any sense to me, but yeah, if it's too far away. You should invest more in the satellite communications networks. If only that were an option. There's no real technology. Well, yeah, there's not really technology like that. I haven't seen any buildings for anything for building communications of any kind. So, anyway, that's where we are currently. And the goal today is to, again, patch things or get everything over here in Northern Europe situated without losing too much, making sure that Norway and England stay our friends, and, and France too. France is our, our new friend. And luckily, France and England don't hate each other, so that's a good thing. <laughs> now the question is, do we want to make Spain our friends? I'm going to go with probably no at the moment, because I have a feeling France might be south, or they might be going this way. I don't know what France is going to do, so we'll see what they do. Anyway, so, oh yeah, forgot. Turn 319 of 400 years, 1,000, or sorry, 1213. So, yeah, it's a good part of the time. Good part. Oh, yeah, and we have the epidemics, a.k.a. the plague, all over the place. That's what the little skulls are. <laughs> so, anyway. So, you. We're building a Lord's Manor over here. I just got to check the territory or regions real quick to see where we are as far as building stuff goes. We're up good in Ireland. New stuff there. Hebrides, right? Hebrides? I think that's how it's pronounced. I know it's three syllables, I just don't know 
whether I pronounce it correctly or not. And these guys are building nothing. They should be working on food. Keep that infrastructure at zero, though. Better. Making some money here and food, I guess. Those things will happen if you don't vaccinate. You don't have to tell me twice. <laughs> so, so, this is one of our armies up here. I'm going to stay here for now, just because um, our little friends from Sutherland, they like to raid across the border here. So we're going to try to discourage them from doing that with a nice big army. Hopefully they'll get the idea that that's not welcome. And we're building a rustic ring more castle here. That'll help with defenses. That'll definitely shut them down. It's Actually, the defenses we already have here are not a problem because his, his strength, his armies are not very good. But anyway, so do that. Acrobats have arrived, so money. It's roads. Oh yeah, Skybird owes me a couple of months rent still, by the way. Skybird apparently lives here in Worcester, Mercia. Or at least somewhere in this area. And I took this, I think, last week. Most I didn't take it, I bought it. And like I said, Skybird owes me rent. There. More acrobats. And then, of course, we control all this stuff, but this should be going back to. I think it'll go back to Sweden when he becomes our vassal. So, we'll just encourage him to build some certain things. Like a fortified village. Here. Fortified Banner. All the good stuff. Yeah, now we'll build that stuff. Okay. So I think we're set. Yeah. Okay, so. Oh, we didn't look at our legacy. So, legacy. I got kind of messed up last week because um, if I remember right, uh, we suffered a coup early on in the stream last week, which screwed our legacy production for a while. Um, we actually started at uh, rank 10 of legacy. Legacy is important because this is your, uh, whoever has the most point legacy points at the end of the campaign wins. Now we're not going to win. <laughs> so as you can see, Byzantine, Mazovia, which is Poland area, and then England, they're the top three. It's between them. We're not going to catch them in 100 turns. Never mind. Or sorry. We're not going to catch them in 75 turns. Never mind 200 turns. So now it's just a question. Can we get into the top 10? How high can we go? I'm going to say we can probably have a chance at hitting maybe top five. Maybe. Probably not. <laughs> so, uh, but we should be able to hit top 10. It's just that uh, we got the little smacked around by that stupid like I said, the coup that we had to go through, and uh, it screwed with our legacy point generation, specifically from this uh, minus 25% factional penalty. See how these guys have a lot of bonuses. We didn't have this penalty for a long time, so we just kept crawling and crawling and crawling up the list. So, But now that we're suffering a penalty, it's affecting our ability to climb up the list. So we'll be fine. When that, if that, I don't know how that when that penalty is going to go away. I have a feeling it's related to our... Um, our leadership not being around very long. And I think that's why we're doing so well before, because we had a very long streak of, you know, sons taking over for fathers, and now this little, you know, coup that, no. How was this? Skane. Um, do I want to fight this out? Not really. So we're going to just view this battle. Now we do have the option of fighting this fight out in a turn-based tactical little screen, and the way that works is if you have Field of Glory 2 uh, Medieval, you have both games installed, um, and you can decide 
to either, you know, fight it the kingdom's way, which is basically just an auto-resolve type deal, which you'll see in a second, or you do the export the battle, that sends you over to uh, Field of Glory 2 Medieval, it loads up, you fight the battle out, after the battle is done, the results uh, are sent back over here in a file, that kind of deal, and it's all kind of cool. And if there was a more balanced fight, I'd do it, but we're going to crush them, so not going to worry about this. We have no cavalry currently in this army, so because cavalry is a, a special type of troop that we can't make any more of. I know we have some, I just don't know where it is. Hey, Taco, welcome back. Happy Monday. So we have. Uh, what are they called? A certain type of troop. Our authority is more stable than it has. But see all the little white dots? Those are their tokens for progressing to the next stage, right? As you can see, we suck. We suck a lot. Okay, the Mongols are coming. In the distant steps of the east, whispers speak of an unstoppable force, a horde vast beyond counting. They are the Mongols. Veiled in a shroud of mystery, trailed by a reputation of merciless conquest and unbroken t victories. Even the bravest of tribes have fallen under their dominion, subdued by the relentless uh, tide of their might. As the earth trembles beneath their approaching ho hooves, one question lingers in the air. Who will stand and who will fall to the might of the Mongol storm? We'll be fine. So anyway, the army is over here talking. Now we're there. It's our mighty, crappy naval navy. Horses there. Here's our horses. So, oh, the standing army units. You can only have so many of those. And I think it might be related to your government type. Because we don't have room for a whole lot of standing army units. And your best units are basically standing army units. Like cavalry, bigger ships better infantry, all that fun stuff. And uh, as a result, I mean, we could actually go to, say, England and go, hey, want to, you know, sell me some cavalry, maybe? <laughs> we can always do that, but we don't need to yet. That's so it will be some other people's problem. Well, it should be. I mean, the Mongols are, what, over here? Or they're going to be coming in this way? They'll sweep through all this way. But we're pretty far away. I mean, they have to get all the way over to Sweden first before we start even start thinking about it. It'll be fine. Anyway, two weeks of troubles. Durham is unrest in unrest. Troublemakers here. So they're unrest. We only have one army dealing with unrest stuff. So loyalty here is 21. Your loyalty. Oh, you guys are 40. You're fine. Strongholds producing a bonus of one authority. Efficient, well organized stewardship in Finviden is that uh, gets a nice little bonus too. And here's all the disease, disease, disease. Lords of Ergial have issued a decree for the people to construct a large mot. That's a temporary structure. And Ulaid has commanded the construction of a large mot as well. He received a new regional decision. Develop a region. Yay. Henry's declared Surd land as a rifle domain of Neil. Ready to get ready to seize it? What? Where is Surd land? Henry is our glorious leader, which you didn't look at. Oh, well, actually, that's appropriate. I think that'll work. Okay, battle's been fought, and we won. Okay, so. Uh, so this decree that we just got develop a region. A region with at least one noble will be developed if there is no no path, one will be created. An additional food and infrastructure will be provided, along with a bonus from ruler administration. If a path already exists, a road will be constructed. 
So what we're looking for, see those little gray lines? Those are roads. And what that little decree will do is allow us to, if we don't have a path already, it will upgrade the path to a road. Do we have a path? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. We have village roads. I think that's good enough. I think if as long as you have roads, they'd be upgraded. You don't know yet, rats. I think we'll upgrade this one. You know, roads. Roads are good things. Or Leinster. Leinster. You know, you have rats too. Aren't we lucky? So many rats. So, I'm learning that the one of the best things you want to build are rat catchers. If you have an opportunity to build a rat catcher, you build it. <laughs> because rats are a pain in the ass. Rats. They reduce your food by four. They don't use a slot, a building slot, which is good. Well, yeah, that doesn't matter. Three structures. Oh, you can have it three rats, and yeah, that's great. They're disease character carriers, so you know helps with the health. Oh yeah, need rat catchers. They plague the population. They do. They do. So anyway, uh, where do you want to build a road? Here or there? There's a better commerce here. 14 overall. You're at one. Mm. Population is 24, 29. So this is the larger place. It's just for whatever reason. I'm guessing the rats aren't helping. We should build a road here. I think. Yeah, I think this one. I think they're overall income is lower because they're probably doing more. It's missing bonuses from trade goods. Probably that's what that is. Yeah, some there too. So either one of those regions will benefit from having a road. Help a region only costs a little bit of money. So, yeah. And clay pit has been completed there, but uh, to build a large mot. So we'll see, that's done. Oh, see these. Nine turns for this uh, ring to ringwork castle to be built. Using twelve. Lots of food on stockpile. 539. It's right there, actually. So we've got lots of time to get that done. And again, still waiting to hear back from Norway, which should be a positive. Regional roads have been completed in Strathclyde. So, Gims. Wheelmaker. Medium heart. Arrow slits. Oh, we haven't seen these yet. Temporary structure. A wooden church. Or storyteller. I'm going to go with Medium Arbor. As you know, more trade. Returns. We can wait. We're not in a rush. And allow the population to keep growing. Growth in 10 turns. So we want to keep that going. Up here at Lothian. So a poultry farm. Leper house. Fisherman house. Armor smith. Prayer bell or Royal Architect. I haven't seen these guys before. Royal Architect will provide a cost reduction for any structure built, regardless of its category. In case of sieges, they have a 15% chance per turn to repair or breach in the walls. Medieval architects were familiar with the basic principles of geometry, including concepts such as lines, angles, and geometric shapes. They also uh, use geometric principles in the construction of buildings, such as using the golden ratio to determine the proportions of a structure or using geometric patterns in the design of decorative elements. Most uh, hone their skills and techniques thanks to apprenticeship. 36 turns. Gonna cost us 26 gold. Not a problem. 
Let's increase our stewardship by two. Missing bonus due to no brass. It's tools. Six population or more. Dividers and compasses. Structure construction reduction in infrastructure cost by 10%. The tier 10, I'm Five turns. Let's see how low we can get the turnage there. And keep a little bit of food. Keep the losses to a bit. Okay, that works. Not to these. An expansion not happen. So what this does it gives us another Oh. We're losing this territory. Just give them some food. Let them do this stuff. We're losing this territory to Norway. We're giving it to them voluntarily. So we have a siege. Siege. Oh, these guys are sieging us. It's like siege might take last a long time. This little army is forty-eight. This one's one ten. Oh, we don't have a general. I don't think we have any generals to give out of anywhere. He's governing stuff. The orange guy's already generals. He's governing. He's governing. This is the white names. He's governing. He's governing. And our noble son of 15. He's an architect. Infrastructure bonus 15%. Siege bonus plus one. Hmm. Exit. Need fortified structure in current region. Go. Put them up. So our son potentially be a governor. I don't know if we need him right now. The two guys look a lot alike. <laughs> so. Yeah, maybe three guys look a lot alike. So we didn't have any governor spots at the moment, so that's yeah, okay. What's going to do? Uh, Converting to new faith. Everybody's Catholic here. Heresy. Incite heresy in England's territories. That'll go over a little while. In the population of the region, we'll switch the heresy variant of this religion. If possible, each clergy population has a 20% cumulative chance to prevent this effect. A pious governor can also help. I don't want to be friend enemies with the England, though. We're good neighbors. Your advisors are the spy to assist you up here. Oh, what's, where's our troublemaker? There's our troublemaker. I think this guy is a troublemaker. That's why that. We 
Major is not the provincial capital, does it have to be? Developing the region too. Oh, this stuff meets up an authority point. Mm -hmm. Suppose that this guy might be a troublemaker. Then when your advisors always see a spy to assist a peer of the realm in charge of one of your domain, that boosts his loyalty. Yeah, let's do that. Actually, what is your loyalty? 30. Oh, definitely want to do that. We'll take the authority here. Okay, next turn. Seventy-nine turns to go after this one. Seventy-nine turns to go. Until the end of the campaign. I don't think that's the end of the game, just the end of the campaign. Oh, look at these troublemakers. Oh, that's us, actually. Anyway, let me do this battle. No John general leading our troops. general would make this much better for us, but we don't have a general to assign. Still win, but... Oh, we lost somebody. Javelin men died. Oh, that's right, we saw him die. Now our little treaties out there, trade deals, they should be going through this turn, I hope. From England, by ending your conflict with Sweetland, you have a uh, new earn divine commendation. I hope so. So, Hama did, they want peace. It's one of these guys we're down with the war with that I don't even know why it happens. Anyway, you're going to pay his concessions and some money because we've got a war score of 45. We haven't done a thing for it, so I'll take it. I like free stuff. Siege of Sigma and Upland is now over and he stands victorious. Pesky Independence. Okay, and what relations with Sweetland are, are not too great. If you intend to wage war against them at some point, know that consulting them can provide you with a claim out against them as you currently have not. Our strongholds and places of influence, uh, bonus to one authority. Administration of Dublin gets another authority point. The workload has been intense and sustained and relayed, and as the feudal lord decided, it was urgent to finish a large mot. As such, food reserves were greatly solicited to feed the workers. Minus 100 food. Cemeteries are filling up in Ergiala. Uh, has the death toil increased? Yeah, yeah. Have more bleeding, okay, more disease, 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 disease. You received a regional, uh, new regional decision. Request excommunication. A wild animal unseated Henry from his horse, uh, but luckily a nearby noble dispatched the beast with a single spearhead. No idea what that's supposed to be. A battle has been fought uh, between that and Skane. We won. From the grip of uh, Norse independence, did we rest upland, conquering it before our realm? 
We are now certain that uh, whoever that is is a faithful peer of the realm after the visit of one of our highest-ranked nobles. The alliance between Man of the and the Isles and O'Neill led to common war against Hamadid. Really? And they'll be an ally with Norway. They also declared war on Malaga. Malaga. Norway. Rose and settled peace. Zealand and O'Neill have signed a peace treaty bringing an end to their conflict between them. Relationship between O'Neill and Zealand increased somehow as the terms of the peace treaty were generous. Of course they were. Norway and O'Neill have signed a trade deal. Our hold on uh, Dalsland uh, has been shattered for it has been liberated by the forces of Norway. We gave it to Norway in exchange for other territories. A cruel twist of fate, Norway has occupied Elfin and claimed to be, to be protecting the people from our rule. And they get another territory we traded with them. With the righteous fury, we have liberated Argyle from the tyranny of Norway. See? Armies bearing the banner of freedom have swept through Inverness and overthrown the oppressive rule of Norway. England and O'Neill have agreed to upon a mutually beneficial transaction treaty, which we have picked up territory from them. With righteous fury, we have liberated Duhobarth from the tyranny of England. See? England, nothing but tyr tyr tyrants, sorry. So. So are we not? We did peace with them. How do we know when they're so they're allied towards us? Okay, so there we go. We're their liege lord now. Relationship's negative five, so we will, uh... We'll do this. That belongs to Norway. These all belong to... Us? No, these are Svealands. So... The king of Svealand. So Svealand owns these. We could give him this one, too. To Skane. They are our enemy, so Skane we can beat up. Let's have 384 there. Oh, and the army that was in here apparently was just the, the locals. Looks like he's moving that way. Between Man of Isles and O'Neill and their common world, it's not like, hey, I that. So apparently, I'm, yeah, allies with the island, or allies with the island, man. Okay, look at that stuff. So, England can be more and more like Ireland every day. Now, right, let's see what the stuff up here is. This is where the action is for the most part. So, send the troops down here. Gonna take this territory back for Sweden. This is Norway. What are this? What was the other one we gave them? This one. Okay, so these are the two provinces we had in Norway. Technically, it's Finland. This one is ours. These two are ours. Norway getting their nose involved somewhere, or poking their nose in where it doesn't belong. Yeah, so we'll help fight these wars down, or fight this stuff to get them for Sweden, I guess. Or we'll take it for ourselves.
been in how it works. Because there's a lot of stuff here. Gain of the Troublemakers. And now these guys. Ronder of Filthy. Likely Bill. They are a vassal of Speedland, I believe. Or, or not. Game. They're worth them too. So, who are you guys working for? Independence? Hmm. sent the rent via the Royal Mail. It should teach you in about 500 years. Damn it. I bet the check bounces before then. So actually, Skein here, they're at war with these guys, too. They're at war with everybody around them. This one is not ours. Okay, so this is not our territory. These are the only two territories we can control over here. Brickworks have been completed. It's done. Three turns, two turns, but two turns. Because these guys are either going to be coming this way or they're going to have to be going back towards ours. That's siege, but it's not our territory anymore, so that's not always a problem. I'm just saying, it's not my problem. So these are the two territories we got back from Norway. Oh, we have room for a governor. Ben, that's our son. He's got a crappy administration, but he's got an architect thing. So I love what you have a governor. This guy. It's like. He's in general. He's very in general. But he's not doing it, so he's sitting in court. So, and then him, he's not going to be our governor. Armory is bearing the banner of freedom. So, that's for us. Really? A stone quarry. Sure. Hmm. I'll do my We're now certain that they're okay, so that guy's nicer, I guess. Loyalty. In the population. Minus E. Any more Irish? Scottish. Scottish. Anglo Saxon. And not nearly enough Irish here. This is the problem. And this is the province we got from England. Oh, we can have a governor here too if we have one. I'm not building anything. We're 
come out of population growth, two turns, turn population 22. I've got a food keeper, food storage, hemp, shepherd, sheep, shop, a lime kiln, medicinal practitioner, wheelbarrows, tar pit, craftsman burrow, clay pit. Smokehouse and the barber. Oh, I have to get a bakery, trader's room, acrobats in town, cannery, small harbor, and that's it. Hey, Gimpy, <coughs> it is time to Words. take a break. So this is a nice little fortified town, at least. Fortified this break village. supports the purchase of Rocket's treats. <laughs> if you would like to help Rocket feel like a puppy again, Please visit gimpyneecom slash support or you can watch the ads during the break or you can type exclamation point treats in chat. Thank you. Your next break is in one hour. I need a governor. Put on control of these guys. Good. Oh, we haven't seen this side yet. So, population growth. Help and sorry, use them online, using the workforce provided by local peasants. Am I? Or is this the road that we're building? That might be the road we're building. So, almond, almond, fruit trees, wheelmaker, otter, armor smith. Monumental Crown Crier, Monumental Cross, and Laura Town Crier. Town Crier should not take up a building slot, just saying. Oh, yeah, we have claim on our own territory. Build a cross, a more piety. More piety. Session, civil lodge, expectation. Where's the key? Uh, so that's an authority. You know, we don't want to do that. Okay, we're good. Quick turn. We lost a fair amount of money buying territories and that kind of stuff, so I want to build that up a little bit more. So we got to start war with Skane is the only one. Oh, Skane, Veslin, other ones. Close, everybody else is way down to the south of Africa, basically. Malaga, I don't even know where they are. They're down there, too, so I'm not going to worry about that. Use. Unrest. Loyalty issues. That's fine. Anyway, we can take a break. Can we ask for the Pope to be excommunicated? Um, probably not. We can see. Excommunicated. The nation must be Catholic, have a strained relationship with the Holy See, at least negative 25, and not be involved in a crusade. Additionally, its authority uh, should not exceed the papacies by more than 50 points. So... The answer is no, you cannot have the Pope excommunicated because, you know, he's the Holy See. And you can't have a strained relationship with yourself, can you? I guess you could, but as you can see, our choices for excommunication are pretty limited, as in non existing. As they'd have to be green. So, nobody really in the position to be excommunicated currently. So, anyway. I do need to take a break. Go talk to Rocket because Mrs. Kimpy has left him again. So I'll be back in a few minutes. Thank you all. For just elect another Pope. Yes, because that's so easy. Anyway, I'll be back in a few minutes. Thank you very much for watching. Enjoy the dog video.